I've been trying to find some buttons for my Mio Mini, but I haven't been able to find any that were in stock. That's when I came across Metro Gate Goods. He has quite a few buttons and D-pads up for sale on his website, and they all seem to be in stock too. I was pretty impressed with all the different customization options he had and the different colors he had available for the mods. He also had a transparent red color, which I figured would look great on my transparent black Mio Mini. There are quite a few options for the button customizations, but I figured I'd just probably go for the standard one with maybe one of the concave ones as well. I also found a servicing tray on his website, which was kind of neat. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. One thing that was really nice to see was the prices were pretty competitive and I didn't feel like it was going to be too expensive getting a full set. I was pretty happy to see that a lot of these parts, or all of them actually, were in stock and ready to ship and he's local in Canada too so it's a lot quicker than buying it from overseas. There was an awful lot of different choices here but eventually I did find a nice combination that I wanted to try out on my Mio Mini. After putting an order in, I waited less than a week and it showed up in my mailbox. Let's take a look. When I finally got the items, he sent over a cool little business card and the d-pad that I selected as well as the buttons and the menu buttons as well. He also sent over a bag of a bunch of random Mio Mini mods, we can take a look at those as well. Some of those buttons look pretty cool. Since I've waited for the better portion of a year to get some Mio Mini customization mods, it's nice to finally have some on hand and I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like in my Mio Mini. Let's take a look. I was actually so excited when these arrived that I installed them a little bit beforehand and I forgot to take some footage of the install process, but you guys have seen me take apart a Mio Mini before. There was an issue with my original D-pad that he sent me, but he quickly sent out a replacement and a couple extra buttons for me to look at as well. Overall I'm really impressed with how fast he shipped the replacements out, so let's install a couple and see how they look. By far the Mio Mini is the easiest handheld I've ever had to dissemble, so it's pretty easy all you have to do is just take off the back panel, unplug the battery, and remove the four screws and you're inside the unit. The buttons that I previously installed from him I haven't had any issues with, they fit really well and they don't rub on any of the openings like the V1 buttons originally did. It's always a good idea to remove any of the micro SD cards you have in your units before doing a teardown on them. Make sure you're extra careful with the micro SD card ribbon lock as those are pretty fragile and I've seen a couple people break them on their Mio Minis before. Out of the buttons that we're going to be replacing, I'm going to be swapping over the power button as I have a replacement one of those now that matches the red buttons. As you can see, the buttons I have installed are really smooth. The printing job on these is phenomenal. So let's pop these out and swap some new buttons in. These ones have been really good, but I wanted to try a couple of the other ones as well. I might put some of these back in later, but for now I'm just going to pull them all out and we'll figure out which ones I want to install. I think first we'll try some of these black ones that have the letter engraved in them. I think those look great, so let's see what those look like in the Mio Mini. Probably use one of these transparent D-pads and some of the transparent red buttons as well. Overall I think this is going to be a cool looking mod, so let's put a couple of these in and see what it looks like. It's interesting, the printing job on these was so fine that I had to pull out a macro lens just to get some close up pictures so you could see the printing details. I haven't seen a lot of 3D printed stuff, but I'm really impressed with the details on these and it just looks phenomenal. He did an excellent job. Let's pop a couple of these in and see what they look like in the unit. As you can see the d-pad fits really well and it looks great in the unit so far. I decided to keep the original red ones that I had purchased over the stock ones as they look great and I think it'll be nice to have something match the d-pad. Since the start and select button are so small it's kind of tough getting them in there but once you got them installed they fit well and they look great. Out of all the consoles that I have, the Mio Mini and the RP3 are the only ones that fit in my pocket well and are easy enough to take with me on the go. I'm hoping in the future he decides to do some other customization options for her other consoles, maybe like the RP3 and a couple other ones. It'd be interesting to see what he could come up with for some of these other devices. 
Let's toss the rest of the buttons in and flip it over and give it a try. As you can see, they look great in the unit and they have a nice click just like the originals. It fits really well. The B button's a little off, I might have to rotate that a little bit. One of my main concerns when going to 3D printed buttons is that you're going to be able to feel the filament on them. I feel like the reason you don't on these is just because they're printed so finely that it feels like the originals. I feel like the best combination here that I enjoy the most is probably the concave A and B buttons. They have a nice texture and it sets them apart from the rest of the other buttons. All in all, I think I'm pretty happy so far. I think this looks great with the transparent black. Even the sides of the buttons are really smooth. It really does feel like the original buttons, just with a little bit different shape to them. Overall, excellent. All in all, are these buttons better than the original Sakura retro modding buttons? I don't know, because I haven't been able to get any. But I think these are excellent for the price, and they're in stock right away. Out of everything that I got, this is what I decided to stick with, which was the concave A and B, and then the rest matching in transparent red. As you can see, I also did install the transparent red power button, and this one works well. It fits really good, and it activates fine on any angle. He does have his logo on the power button, which is pretty cool. I think it looks nice on there, adds a nice little touch to it. Just because these were printed so well, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show some close-ups of these buttons. As you can see, the printing texture on these is just its amazing. You can only really see this texture when you look really closely on a macro photo, so you don't actually feel this on the buttons themselves when you're using them. The DMG style D-pad that he has as well adds a little extra grip, which is really nice. You can see the texture difference between the actual Mio Mini and the printed unit here. I'm happy I finally got some Mio Mini customization mods done, and I think it looks great overall. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with these, and they're easy to recommend. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below.